true story about this gal I met. In, she was in Aberdeen. She just, her sister wanted to give her a gift, and so she gave her two talking pilots. Now, she was really a mean sister, and the other sister should have really known better to take the pilots. But when she got the pilots home, can you hear me back there? Back there, the man was a hot area. Okay, I just want to be sure you can hear me. <laughs> well, she gets these two pilots home, and the trouble is, ladies and gentlemen, is that the only thing the pilots say, and they say it in unison, is, Hi, I'm a hooker. Want to have some fun? <laughs> and it embarrasses this poor lady to death. She never got married. She's a gold maid. She don't know what to do, so then all of a sudden she says, I got to do something. So she goes around the corner where there's a palace there, there's a, there's a Catholic church. Now a lot of you don't realize in, in Scotland they do have a few Catholics there. And she went to the Catholic church and she knocked on the rectory door. And opened up and there's the father. And he says, can I help you there? She says, father, I've not been to church in many, many years, but I've got a problem, maybe you can help me. He says, of course, what is it there? He says, I've got two pilots. And it's, well, they say bad things. Well, what is it there? Nothing can be that bad. She said, when, when the pilots, they don't talk anything, but when they do talk, they say, Hi, I'm a hunter. Want to have some fun? Oh, he says, that is a problem. You've got a real problem. She says, do you think you can do something to help me? He says, I think we can. Listen, tomorrow you bring the pilots to me directly here, and I've got two male pilots. And those two male pilots are very religious. And maybe if we put them in the same cage, we can change this behavior with your girl pilots. The next day, she comes to the directory, knocks on the door. The father opens the door. He says, I'm glad you're here. Come on in. He says, now, take your two pilots to the cage over here in the corner. And that's Charlie and Joe. Now, if you notice right now, they are reading the Bible. And Charlie has actually got his rosy beads on. And you can hear them do the hell man for the grace. Lord, we really can't tell those about you. Don't think. And they're very quiet, but they're doing the prayers. The father opens the gate, takes the two female pilots, puts them in there, quietly, shuts the door. Ladies and gentlemen, there's silence. There's not a sound for like 30, 40, 50 seconds. And then all of a sudden, ladies and gentlemen, the two female pilots, they scream out, Hi, I'm a hooker, wanna have some fun? And Joe looks at Charlie and says, Charlie, put away those rosy beads. Our prayers have been answered. <laughs> Seen us. Would you like to? Uh, would you like to hear me do one of my drum solos? Oh. Yeah. 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 Only if it's two oh. thirteen. Right. Only two thirteen. That's all. I, I can do it. I can do it. I'll do number two thirteen of my series of two hundred eighty-five. Two thirteen. Now that calls me doing part of it on one leg. Oh, oh. Yes, that's why I asked for it. <laughs> Want to make it? Clip will squat at me, do you? <laughs> all right, 213 for you and all the rest of you out there in Scotland. 
in Scotland, <laughs> as it were. 213! Be careful, that's it. This is not part of it, this is to get your attention. <laughs> I'm choking on the water. No. Oh. 